My fellow Australians and the rest of you, mankind is facing a pandemic that threatens its very existence. Un-Australianism. As a planet, we're not eating enough lamb. Little she you Jung Warren, double young, Tom the Quades, Chu Young Pai. Consequently, un-Australian behaviour is rife worldwide. In my own region, rugby league teams touring New Zealand would do a lot better if they shared lamb cutlets in their hotel rooms instead of what's on offer at the pub. And why can't English speakers pronounce Turkey air properly? Fancy calling a proud nation Turkey. What a load of Istanbul. People of the world. It's time to focus on what truly unites us. Lamb. What do Iraq and Barak have in common? Iraq in their name. Is there anyone in the Middle East who doesn't love a lamb feast? We could revive peace talks and bring everyone back to the table by renaming the holy city Jerusalem. And as anyone that's had a curry in Pakistan knows, Islamabad? Of course it bloody well isn't. So the message is clear. Our world would be a better place if we were more Australian. If we all came together as mates over a lamb barbie, just like we do down under. Which is why I'm asking the United Nations to declare January the 26th, International Australia Day. A day when every citizen of the world throws some chops on the grill and proudly proclaims, Ich bin ein Barbecue. That should just about get me the Nobel Peace Prize next year. So don't be un-Australian. Eat lamb on International Australia Day. You know it makes sense. I'm Sam Kekovich. <laughs>